Yo, what's good guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time, in my opinion, is a pretty good one. It's about my teacher, specifically about my teacher stealing. Yeah, I'm not gonna give too much away right away, but let's jump right into this story time. So this story time takes place back in seventh grade, okay? It was my first year at this new school I was going to, and the school itself wasn't like a bad school or anything. Like, the teachers were pretty nice, the kids that I met there were pretty nice. The first, like, three months of going there were completely normal, not too much out of the ordinary. But I had this one teacher, let's just call him Mr. Nerdneck, okay? Mr. Nerdneck was definitely a very, very strange character, okay? I remember one time, it was my first month of going to this school. I got to class really early one day because at this point I didn't have a ton of friends at my new school. So I got to class early and he actually was mad at me for being to class early. I remember he was like, don't you have friends you can go hang out with in the hallway for a little bit before class starts? Like You don't have to be here at the crack of dawn. And I remember from that day forward that I was not going to like Mr. Nerdneck. Like, I just started going to this new school, and one of my teachers already roasted me. So I already knew that me and Mr. Nerdneck were not going to get along very well. So anyway, yeah, fast forward to the third month of going to this school. Things were a lot more normal at this point. I had a friend group. Most of my teachers were pretty cool. But Mr. Nerdneck was still the most annoying teacher that I had. And all of my friends agreed with me. Like, none of my friends liked him. He was super mean for no reason. He would get an attitude every time somebody would ask him for help. And it just made no sense. Like, if you didn't like kids and you didn't like them asking for help on assignments, then maybe Mr. Nerdneck should have resigned from being a teacher. So anyway, this story time starts off as a normal day. I got up. I went to school. I did what I always did every morning. I would meet up with my friends in the hallway. And we would just walk around the hallways talking until the first bell would ring. And that means that we would have a couple minutes left to get to class before the second one would ring. So we walked around for a little bit, and I went to my locker real quick to get some books out of my locker. And when I got to my locker, I put my backpack in there, and I opened it up, and I completely forgot that I had $100 in my backpack from my birthday party. Yeah, around this time, it was my birthday, so I got 100 bucks from family members, and I put it in my backpack because I didn't have a wallet at the time. So yeah, I take the money out of my backpack, and I start putting it in my pocket because I didn't want to leave that in my locker. Just in case anybody ever stole out of my locker, I didn't want that to be the day that it happened and I actually had money in there. I usually wouldn't bring money to school, but this one day, I didn't want it to be my unlucky day. So my friend saw me putting the money in my pocket and he's like, yo, how much is that? I'm like a hundred bucks. And then all of my friends, like vultures, were like, yo, let me get a dollar. Come on, Austin, give me one dollar, bro. I just want to get some chips. So I gave a couple of my friends a dollar and they went to the vending machines immediately. And then after that, I start folding it back up and putting it in my pocket. And as I'm doing that, Mr. Nerdneck walks by and he goes, Austin, how much money is that? And I'm like, it's a hundred dollars. He's like, why'd you bring that to school? Put that in your locker, man. Like, don't carry that on you. So I ask him, I'm like, why should I put it in my locker? Like, isn't it safer to just keep it on me so nobody can steal it? And he goes, no, I think it's the total opposite. I think if you keep it on you, then people are going to bother you all day asking to borrow money from you or worse. They're going to try and steal it from you. And I'm like, all right, Mr. Nerdneck. And I turn around and I start putting it in my backpack. And there was this little slit in my backpack, like in the fabric. It was kind of like a secret pocket. I put it in there. So I thought that, you know, if someone did go in my locker, they probably wouldn't find it. So I put the money in there. I shut my locker. I said goodbye to my two friends that were standing there. Now you're probably thinking, Austin, weren't you skeptical of them? Like, they know that you put your money in your locker. Well, out of everybody that I was friends with at this school, they were definitely the two that I trusted the absolute most. So I didn't think for a second that they would steal from me. Like, that thought was just not in my mind whatsoever. So I say goodbye to them. I go to my class. And of course, my first period class this day was Mr. Nerdnecks. So I sit down in his class. And I get through that entire class with no issues whatsoever. There was nothing out of the ordinary at all. And then I go through my next few classes, and then we get to lunchtime. And the second that the bell rang to go to lunchtime, I got up, left class, and went straight for my locker to get some of that money out and get some snacks for lunch. So I get to my locker, I go to check my backpack for the money, and I go down in like the secret pocket, and there's nothing in there. So I immediately knew. I'm like, yep, I got robbed. So I start checking every single pocket in my backpack. I start checking my whole locker to see if it fell out somehow. But of course, it was not there. So I had a few things that I could do in this situation. I could either, one, just take the L and go to lunch and not think about that I just got my money stolen from me and let whoever did it get away with it. Or I could talk to my friends who saw me put the money away this morning and see if any of them took it. Or I could go to my principal's office and get them to check the cameras and see who did it and try and get my money back that way. Which, that way was my last option because even though it would probably work the best, I didn't want to look like the snitch in the situation. But I really wanted my money back. Like, that was my whole birthday gift. I did not have a job at this point. So I wanted that money to buy things. You know, like fast food and hoodies and whatever my 7th grader heart desired, okay? 
So I went up to lunch and I sit down at the table with my friends and every friend that I hung out with that morning was at this lunch table. So the two people that saw me put the money in the locker and the rest of them that I gave a dollar to. So everybody knew that I had money on me this day. So I tried to say this in the most non-accusing way possible. I was like, yo, guys, does anybody know where my money from my locker this morning went? I went to grab it for lunch and it was gone. Like someone took it out of my locker. And my friend was like, yo, what? Are you serious? I'm like, yeah, dude. And my other friend's like, do you have any idea who could have done it? Like, do you have beef with anybody right now? And I was like, nah, I don't. But the only people that know that I had money today were all of you and Mr. Nerdneck. And my one friend's like, yo, not to sound accusing or anything, but I wouldn't put it past Mr. Nerdneck to steal out of your locker. Like, that guy is really sketchy. He's the sketchiest teacher in this whole school. And I kind of believed him, but at the same time, I really had my doubts that it was him. I honestly assumed it was one of my friends from this table that did it. So I keep asking them questions about like who could have done it and none of them had any answers. So I decide to take the last option, which is after lunch, I'm going to go to the principal's office and tell my principal and see if my school can check the cameras and see who stole the money that way. So yeah, I eat lunch and after lunch, I go to the principal's office. I sit down with my principal and I'm like, hey, I had $100 in my locker. It was there this morning. And when lunchtime came, I went to my locker to grab some money for snacks and it was gone. And my principal's like, Austin, why do you have $100 at school today? And I was like, I didn't mean to bring it to school. It was for my birthday and I left it in my backpack at home. And when I came to school this morning, I realized it was still there. If I would have known it was in there before I went to school, I just would have taken it out real quick. And my principal's like, okay, all right, I'm going to have the staff check the cameras. But since it's already late in the day, we probably won't know until after school's over. So I'll call you in the office first thing in the morning tomorrow and we'll talk to you. I'm like, okay. So I go home with no money, broke, just sad that I have nothing, that someone stole my money. And the whole rest of that night was pretty normal. I just kind of sat around, just played Xbox, doing nothing. And the next day came along, and I got into school, I went to my locker, and I get my things in order, and I go to my first period class, and I sit down, and I realize that Mr. Nerdneck isn't there. It's a substitute. And I'm just thinking like, okay, he's probably sick or something, or he's late. I can't lie, in my head I was kind of relieved because he's not the nicest teacher in the world. So I'm just waiting for the announcements to come on and call me up to the office because I knew that they said that's when they were going to call me. So like 10 minutes goes by and class starts and an announcement comes on asking me to come up to the office. And I get up to the office and I sit down with my principal and my principal starts off by saying, Austin, just so you know, I've already informed both your parents about what happened yesterday and who it was. So they already know everything I'm about to tell you. But yesterday, me and the staff right after school checked the cameras in the hallway where your locker is and we saw... Mr. Nerdneck, go to your locker with a locker key that he must have taken from the office upstairs, and he opened up your locker and took your money out of your backpack. And I was shocked. I was, like, completely shocked. So I was like, wow, um, what happens next? And she's like, well, he's already been placed on administrative leave. He's not going to be able to teach here for a while. I talked to your mom and your dad about it. She doesn't want to try and get the law involved or anything just because it was such a small amount of money. But me, your parents, and all the staff all agreed that his employment gets terminated immediately and that he can't work here anymore. So that's what we did. You don't have to worry about him anymore. You won't see him ever again in this school. And we're also going to be looking into other camera footage and other hallways and see if he's done this before. So thank you so much for bringing this to our attention, Austin. I'm like, yeah, no problem. Do I get my 100 bucks back? And my principal was like, yep, I already gave it to your mom. Don't worry. I'm like, oh, great. So I went home after that day was over and I talked to my mom about it. And she gave me my money back and told me that the school basically got rid of him and that he won't be working there anymore. And she also said that the school was alerting other schools in the area to like not hire him because he's a thief and did something illegal. So yeah, that's pretty much how the story ended. My teacher no longer worked at my school and uh, my friends couldn't believe that he stole from me. I couldn't believe it. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of this story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Moral of the story is don't steal from people ever. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all later. Peace. And I'm like, what's up? They leave me out for the dead and now they know that.